Hey everyone, I'm M Guy, and in this episode we're going to find out why this 1971 midget was running horribly and misfiring. So for those of you that are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, I really hope you enjoy it. And if you like this kind of content with my own cars, this cute little MG midget from 1971 and a Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So those of you who've been with the channel for a while will know that I picked up this cute little MG midget uh, in May and uh, I'm the second owner of this car. The guy I bought it from had bought the car from new. Quite an amazing story. Check out the link above here uh, to see that collection video. It's quite interesting. And uh, those of you who've been with the channel for a while um, will know that I had quite a bit of work done uh, with uh, Peter at Moxham Garage. And when I brought the car home, you'll remember I said something in a previous video uh, which was a little bit concerning. One little thing still needs to be done. I think the tune isn't quite right and the idle just needs to be adjusted. It's idling a little bit slow. So uh, we're going to take it back up to Pete. He'll just do it while we wait. So when I was bringing the car back from Pete's, um, I was noticing that there was this nasty spluttering. I just had it on the freeway for a bit. Spluttering, misfiring and uh, I actually took some video on my phone. The video quality is not very good, um, but you can just hear uh, the noise of the misfire. So I was going to take it back to Pete, and on the day that I was due to take it back, this is how it started. Actually, very soon after I started, I thought I might have to call uh, the breakdown truck because I didn't think I was going to make it. Um, but I drove it really carefully and got it to uh, Pete's and he uh, very kindly had a look at it while I was there. And uh, yeah, the reason was really interesting and not at all what I'd expected. I'd completely overlooked this potential cause. So let's get into details of what was happening. So let's have a look under this cute little engine and find out what was going wrong uh, with the car. So um, very, very simple. I think I've shown you in the, under the engine bay before, but very simple four cylinder engine, 1275cc. We've got twin SU carburetors here. Very standard, very, very easy to work on. Um, and then over this side, uh, you've got your uh, coil and your spark plugs and uh, distributor down there. So when I was uh, thinking what this problem might be, my initial thought turned straight to the, uh, the carburetors, the air and fuel mixture, because I thought that was the kind of symptom that I was getting. Um, but in reality, it turns out to have been a spark problem all along. So you can see here that these spark plug leads are kind of open. They don't have any rubber uh, covers over them. I mean, that's just how it was in the old days. Um, and they literally just push onto the spark plugs. So one of the big problems that we had was that these were actually really loose and were not making a good connection. And that was obviously affecting the spark quality and that was causing, or part of the cause of the misfire. The other thing that was wrong and which um, Pete fixed was that the coil down here, they had two different types. They had a 12 volt standard one, which um, this car should have, but then they also had an eight volt one, which worked with a ballast resistor. That was supposed to improve cold starting, I think, um, because it made the spark a little bit stronger, um, but uh, it was the wrong one for this car and there was no ballast res resistor in place. So it was an eight volt coil with no ballast resistor. So it was completely wrong and it was overheating. So Pete um, was great when I took the car to him. He was able to find that uh, coil just from a uh, spares place close to him and fitted it in an hour and uh, drove away and it was perfect after that. So, you know, as I say, three things that we need to make an engine run, air, fuel and spark, I'd uh, ignored the spark and that turned out to be the problem. And now it's running beautifully. So I 
really hope you enjoyed this video on the MG Midget uh, and particularly going into that detail of why we were getting such rough running and uh, bad misfires. We all know how an internal combustion engine works. We need three things. We need air, fuel and a spark. I'd somehow convinced myself that this was a mixture issue, that it was an air and fuel issue, when in fact it turns out to have been a spark issue all along. So thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber and hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram down here and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.